This is Natasha Tracy for Breaking Bipolar here at HealthyPlace.com. Today I want to talk about bipolar in relationships. So specifically, the stigma that some people have against people with bipolar in relationships. So some people would say you should never date a person with bipolar disorder. Some people would say that people with bipolar disorder have anger issues or are abusive or will cheat on you. But this, of course, is ridiculous. I don't have anger issues. I don't abuse people. And I don't cheat on people. That's just me. And many people with bipolar disorder could say the same because we're all different. Those attributes, anger issues for example, are not part of the diagnosis. They're just prejudice and stigma talking. That's all that is. When you say don't date a bipolar, what you're saying is that that person with bipolar disorder is only their illness, that they have no other characteristics that might be worth caring about, that might be worth loving, that might be worth being in a relationship over. You absolutely gel a person down to one line of their biography, which is that they happen to have a mental illness. It's like saying no one should date anyone with cancer because for some reason everyone with cancer is the same and they should all be reduced simply to one diagnosis, one line of their biography. This of course would be completely unfair. No one would ever say that about someone with cancer because people with cancer are just people. They happen to have an illness. And people with bipolar disorder are just people. They just happen to have an illness. Some people are angry. Some people are not. Some people are happy. Some people are not. Some people will be really amazing, fabulous partners for you. And some of them will not. Because we are just people. We are just like everyone else. Their only reason to date us or not to date us is because you care about or don't care about the individual. The illness has nothing to do with it. I'm Natasha Tracy and this is Breaking Bipolar.